then dealing with these parents who were just ultra protective all the time. I mean, to, to a point of suffocation, you know, like I was feeling suffocated. Like I couldn't breathe because they're mm -hmm. all over me all the time. Yes. So, so um, somehow, I mean, in most cases, uh, they transfer their fear to you. Yeah. Somehow, that really did not happen with me. Uh, it was in my destiny, and that's rare. I think most people will just absorb the fear of the parents or their conditioning, and they continue replicate that. For me, I think genetically, somehow there was this boldness and this craziness uh, that started to reveal itself years after, uh, and rebellious, you know, this rebel that whatever you tell him he can't do, he wants to do it. Don't tell him you can't do this because it's going to be worse. And uh, wanting to be independent, wanting to make my own money, wanting to go my own way. So for a number of years, I was trying to run away from the parents uh, because of the suffocation that I experienced. Mm. And it's interesting, you know, as you get older and, your consciousness expands and then you're starting to see, oh, wow, you know, I really love these people. And even though I find them crazy or I, I find myself coming from another planet, because many times I thought like, who are these people? <laughs> who are my parents? You know, what the hell am I doing in this family? Because we have nothing in common. Uh, they're always afraid of everything. And I'm wild and crazy and want to experience and experiment everything. So we're so different in that level of what the hell am I doing here? Uh, going to this feelings of being a stranger in a strange land uh, on planet Earth, which I still feel like, what am I doing on this planet? There are times that the feeling comes like, I don't know if I belong to this, you know, this is, this is weird here. There's a weirdness on this planet. And I know a lot of people on spiritual path feel the same way. A lot of us have this in common because we were the black sheep in the family and we were always felt different, never felt really one, one of, you know, you're in your high school, you're in college or whatever, and you don't feel like you're one of them. They're all excited about the football game. They're all excited about the baseball game. They're all excited about the new president or whatever. And you don't give a shit. I mean, it's just like, you know, you try to fit yourself and be excited about it and look like everyone else and act like everyone else. But inside you don't. You feel like you're a stranger in a strange land. So, but back to what you brought up, uh, yeah, some, if, basically, if it's in your path, and it's your DNA, and your makeup to be fearful, and then you grow up with parents who are paranoid, you pick that up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I understand that I needed to feel that fear from from some some uh, some days ago that I could uh, 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 ask you to talk about this and I will understand everything in another way, you know. So thank you. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, mm -hmm. obviously, it was a part of my karma to grow up and be a teenager living with parents who were paranoid about everything. I mean, we had so many fights and so many battles about me going skiing or me going for a swim or, or going to down, down on our, in our neighborhood street to play with the other kids. It was like a nightmare. It was always like an issue to do that. 
and I went through years of feeling really suffocated, like not being able to breathe. And that is the worst feeling ever. Yeah, and it's, you know, it hasn't ended, you know, it's still there. It's still, every time I talk to my mother, I mean, she's the last one standing. And, uh, oh, I'm so worried about you. I go, what are you worried about? <laughs> oh, because, da, 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 da. or, oh, you know, oh, you're driving, you're going to Sedona. I'm so worried about you. Please drive slowly. I go. <laughs> like, that's very noble of you, mom. Just be worried. You're always worried about something, you know? It's like it's in there. It's like they don't know what to do with themselves if they're not worried. Mm. Like, it's so ingrained in their psyche of worrying about something. And they're going to find something to worry about whether it's their kids or what's going on in the world or whatever it is, they find something to worry about. Yes. But that's their makeup and that's their karma. And that's, that's what the expression, that's how God wants to express itself in this life through them. And and if you're not that type, it's uncomfortable for you. Any, anyone else? Any comments? Any questions? Anything? Let me see if we got in the chat box. Anybody with anything? Um, and those of you on our Facebook, I appreciate you joining me today. I uh, It's hard for me to answer questions on Facebook. Um, so if you want to have a direct connection uh, during the web, uh, during the academy. Oh, someone's asking me, do you have kids? Uh, no, I don't have any children. Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Where are you from, Andrea? No, I don't have kids. So, no questions. Yeah, those of you on Facebook, if you uh, like to be in direct communication, I recommend you sign up through my website, which is zaratustra.tv and um, join us at the academy and um, we can talk directly because a lot of times it's hard for me to go from one screen to another screen. Okay, we have another. All right, Kamala, do you want to share with us? Yes. Hi. Hi, Hi. nice to see you. Nice to see you all. Good evening. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> it's just like when I think about fear, for me, it's very much about... Yeah, it's a fear of uh, of being seen, uh, of being received, actually, because I'm not sure sometimes if I want to be seen. Right. I'm I'm scared of it. I'm right. scared of, of of showing you who I really am. Right. So there's so much fear on that. 